It literally has mold. That's gross. That's nasty. I know you have machines here, but I just wanted to stop by and see if you wanted a uh, different service, maybe newer machines. All right, here we go. Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hope everyone's having an amazing day. Before we get started, yes, I know I haven't posted a video in almost a month, so I do wanna say I'm sorry. But the reason why is because I've actually been working on a vending machine course for everyone that wants to start their own vending machine business, which I will be talking about later on in the video. But ever since I started making videos and starting my business, I've had a lot of you guys tell me to make a video on how to get started, how to find locations, how to buy machines. So that's why in this video, I wanna walk you guys through on what it's actually like to run a vending machine business. For example, in this video, I wanna show you guys exactly how I track my inventory, where I buy machines from, and also, of course, later on in the video, we are gonna be going to a few of my vending machine locations. We're gonna fill them up and we're gonna collect some money. And also, make sure you guys watch the whole video because in the end, we're gonna be doing something that you guys have been waiting for for so long. I'm gonna be going to a few different businesses, I'm gonna walk inside, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I say whenever I talk to a business owner, whenever I go and find locations. So it's basically gonna be a day in the life of a vending machine business owner. Basically, I mean, just like I said, this video is for everyone that wants to get into the business and wants to know what it's actually like. So again, at the end of the video, if you still wanna get into it, check the link down below and check out the vending machine course. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. If y'all do, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and yeah, let's jump right into it. A new machine. Guys, so just like I said, at the end of the video, we're gonna go out and try to find a new location. And this is a machine that I just got last week. And technically, it's our first ever new machine that we've ever gotten. It's literally straight out of the factory. Nobody has ever used it. So if you guys wanna get a machine like this, I did buy it from vending.com. Um, go check out the website. If you guys tell them that Jaime sent you, you guys will be getting $100 off your machine. So again, vending.com, go check them out. And yeah, I mean, I know a lot of people are looking for a combo machine, especially when they first get started. This right here is one of the best combo machines you can buy. Here we go. You ready for the first ever drink in this machine? Yes. Just like that. But yeah, anyways, I will be getting into this machine later on in the video. Um, so right now, the first thing we gotta do is we gotta go and fill up some vending machines on location. We're gonna be going to two different locations. So we do gotta get all the product and all the drinks ready. Y'all can see for the drinks, we are kinda running low. So we're gonna have to go to Sam's and buy some more product. We've never actually showed them how to get the product ready. Well, that's what I'm gonna do right now. So you guys know we do have a credit card reader on every single vending machine. And the reason why, I mean, number one is because it does increase sales. But number two is because I can actually track all the inventory through my phone. Okay, so for example, this is a machine that we're gonna be filling up today. It's a sort of machine and y'all can see, I can see exactly how much money I made today. Yesterday, I made $22 just from the soda machine. Uh, it shows how much money I made this week, this month, and then for the whole year. But if I click down here on inventory, I can see exactly what sold in the machine. But for example, I mean, I do have three rolls of Coke and each one is missing eight. So eight times three is 24 bottles of Coke. So now I know that whenever I go back, I gotta take 24 bottles of Coke. And there we go, we got the Coke ready. So now I move on to the next one. Next one is Coke Cherry. I'm missing nine. Do we have any Coke Cherry? I mean, we are pretty low on a bunch of stuff. So next up is Coke Diet. Do we have some? Yes, actually. So we're missing seven bottles of Coke Diet. There's six. And then one more. And there we go. I mean, it's that simple. This way we actually take exactly what we need and I don't have to, you know, basically guess and take a full case of everything because that's gonna take up a lot of space in the van. 
But yeah, we do have a lot of product to get ready, so we'll get back to you guys right when we're done. All right, everyone, so we are finally done getting all the product ready. We got the chips, all the snacks, the chocolate, and then of course, the drinks in the bottom. Uh, we still gotta go to Walmart and Sam's to buy everything else, but this is what we have so far. You ready to go fill up some machines? Let's go. The driver's side is on the other side, sir. Well, go then, why are you telling me? Mira, mira. Uh, you know what, for this video, I'm gonna drive because people say that they have never seen me drive before. Cause you don't. They be exaggerating. I drive sometimes, right? Yeah, when you crash the truck. Ooh. And that's why I don't drive no more. <laughs> but I mean, you guys say I never drive, so let's see what happens today. No, you know what, I'll just drive. It's okay, I'll just <laughs> drive, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you what? having a party or what? Yup, and you're not invited. Mira, mira. It's gonna be just me and everyone watching the video right now. You guys are invited to the party. Okay, so, but who's gonna cook? Well, can you please cook for us? Not if I'm not invited. All right guys, so right now we just left Walmart. I do buy all of my flavored soda from Walmart because it is pretty cheap. And also Sam's literally only sells cold Dr. Pepper and Sprite and that's all from bottles. So I do come to Walmart for like the, the Big Red, the Fanta, the Lemonade, the Root Beer. And also they are still pretty cheap. I think each bottle is about 50 cents. Uh, so we still sell it for $1.25. So we still make profit. So we went to Sam's, we went to Walmart, we got all the drinks. So now we can go to the first location. You think it's gonna fit? It has to fit. Just love the way you organized all the drinks. <laughs> Look. It just takes up a lot of time. I'm not gonna sit here and play Tetris trying to stack up all the drinks, all right? It's probably, okay, I'm not gonna lie. It's probably not the best way. All right. Close so it, close it, close it. Now what you wanna do after you put the drinks is just shut it. And there we go, they won't fall out. What you doing there? Eating a donut. Is that your breakfast? Yeah. Guys, a, a good tip whenever you are gonna start your vending machine business is whenever you buy a product, get a box and put a lock on the box because your girlfriend is gonna be eating all the product. Okay, what makes you think that only guys are gonna start vending machine business? Okay, for all you girls out there, hide the box of a product from your boyfriends then. Yeah, that's more like it. No, show them your snack. No, why are you trying to expose me like that? Yeah, I'm not the only one. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I got a snack too, all right? But actually, it's because we've never sold these before, so I kind of want to try it. <sighs> All right, I'm not gonna lie, I do eat the product too. And here it is, the worst part about running your vending business, the traffic. It takes up so much time. What the? How'd you guys get in there? Oh my god. You're such a head ass. <laughs> uh, but anyways guys, we made it to our first location. We're gonna get all the drinks and snacks uh, to fill up these machines and then we'll go inside and collect some money. Hurry up, it's cold. It is pretty cold outside, so let's hurry up and do this. All right, everyone, so before we go inside, I mean, check these out. I'm guessing these are new because I've never seen them before. But it's, it's basically popcorn and they have the sneakers, the M&Ms, and the Twix. But yeah, they look pretty cool. Check it out. Comment down below if you guys have ever tried these before. I haven't even tried them. All right, you ready to go inside? Let's go. Let's go inside and let's uh, fill up some vending machines. I 
guess we take our own temperature. <laughs> you wanna check my temp? I got you. Big forehead, I don't know where to aim it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> right? I don't know how to use it. 94.1. All right, you guys, we made it inside. We do have two machines in this location, the drink machine and the snack machine. And before we actually fill it up, let's take a look and let's see how well it did. Okay, so the drink machine obviously is pretty empty. I mean, it's only been, what, a week and a half? Yeah. So it hasn't even been that long. This is one of our busiest locations. So the soda machine did really good. So for everyone that doesn't know, this is what 40% empty looks like. Is this, I thought it was 30%. It was something like that. Yeah, so for example, this machine right now is 30% full and we usually come whenever they get to about 50%. So we are kind of late. Uh, so we do gotta fill up this machine and then the snack machine. Oh my God, look at all that jerky. <laughs> okay, now we for sure know they don't like jerky and they don't like lightsaber gummies. But they did, some of it sold because it was filled up all the way to the back. Oh my god. What? This thing is heavy. It has to be. It's Just look at the machine. It's so heavy. I mean, yeah, the machine is empty. Guys, I promise you, there's gonna be a lot of money in this bill acceptor. I can't wait to open it up. Can we see? This thing is. I'm gonna see. Bro, I'm that's cheating. I'm, I'm gonna wait until the end. But no, bro, this thing is heavy. But yeah, anyways, um, we are gonna fill up the machines quickly. That way we can move on to the next location. So I'm gonna do the drink machine first, and then we'll go ahead and do the snack one. Can be my all clean, fit to me. Finger all shiny on my baby's diamond ring. I was on a high till I caught on to the scene. Swear I lost my heart when I fell in love with things. Rookie year went broke like Jalen Rose. Got the price, sold my soul to the things I own. Switched up, locked in, and got my mind right. Prioritizing, got my business and my time right. Wrist watch, no TikTok, you know the crown. I get guap, then flip stocks, you know it now. My baby's loyal and she holds it down. Play with my fam and I might blame you, but it's going down. Not gon' trip if the sun don't shine. Not gon' trip. I wouldn't really recommend filling a machine all the way to the back unless it's a good location because if not, stuff is going to go expired. And I got a good example for that. Where's it at? So you always want to make sure all the product, especially the pastries, is still good in the machine because you don't want to be selling something expired. And a good example, we found this one in the machine. It literally has mold. Bruh. That's gross. That's nasty. It has mold. So every single time you go, always check every single pastry, everything. All right, everyone, here we go. The first snack machine for today. Let's check it out. Not bad, not bad. That's lunch right there. So at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how much all the machines made in cash, coins, and credit cards. And now, moving on to the soda machine. I don't think I've ever seen anything more beautiful than this. Ouch. <laughs> Besides you. Nah. Besides you. Already, you. you already said it. Give me a kiss. Right. <laughs> Can I open this one? You wanna open it? Yeah. There you go. Testing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why are you shaking it? You dodo bird. I was excited. <laughs> Okay. All right, there we go. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's literally full. That is a lot. The bill scepter is literally full. Look at this. You can't take it out with one hand. That's just from one machine, the soda machine. Please select the product. Please 
your card. Your mobile phone. How is it? You know what? It's actually better than the, the mocha one. Really? Mocha used to be my favorite, but this one has like an extra taste to it. It's pretty good. Is it like super sweet? No, nah, you want to try it? No. Did you copy me again? <laughs> Was it to the side? Yeah. <laughs> it's a chicken alfredo pasta. You copycat her. That's not true. All right, let's see. It Ooh, looks, looks yummy. What, what time is it? Donut? Look at the time. It's 6 p.m. and it's our first time eating. This is our breakfast, guys. And for me, I got the same thing as, well, actually, she got the same thing as me. Uh, no. I got chicken alfredo. Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, you know, we're gonna stop and eat a quick little lunch break. Don't get your hoodie dirty. Wait. You, you're, you're the one that likes to eat with like your whole ass body. Look, guys, she got her hoodie. I love it. I told her to get like one size bigger so I can wear it because I, I like it. Oh my god, how do I drop that? <laughs> Alright guys, so yeah, we're just gonna basically eat our food, eat some lunch, and then we'll go on to the next location. See you then! Peace! Finally! Right. My you can gosh! Come on out. You can come out. Can't believe you actually made me stay in there. The yeah. whole time! <laughs> hey, be quiet or I'll put you back in there. Okay, so now we are at the second location. This is basically like the same company as the first location we went to. So we do have similar machines. This is actually the location where the owner sold us the two machines for like 300 bucks. You oh yeah! That? It's this location. Also, guys, so we actually sell the V8 vegetable juice in this location. And it always sells out. They love it. First of all, I don't know why this thing is disgusting. So I really feel... Like they're sneaking in a bottle of beer or something to make a Bloody Mary because there's no way people drink this for fun. I mean, it tastes good when it's cold. I mean, still, like they gotta be, I don't know. I'm not gonna say nothing, but it's just kind of <laughs> weird that they actually drink a lot of these at this location. You see a vending machine anywhere? I don't see any. I know they have an office, so we gotta go inside and see if they have one inside. Alright everyone, so it is the next day now. Yesterday the second location was closed, so we couldn't go inside and fill up the machines. But now I do want to stop by a few different businesses and see if we can finally find a location for the combo machine. <sighs> I'm actually kind of nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Your uniform makes you look professional. Yeah, so whenever you guys go out and find locations, make sure you have a uniform because you want to look official. So I do have my uniform. I look, I mean, do I look good? Yeah, you look good. Okay, so what if they ask for like a business card or something? Okay, make sure you have a business card too. I don't have any and that's the reason why I don't go door to door because one time I went to a location and he wanted a business card so he can call me later and I didn't have one. But I got a picture of the combo machine clear picture and then the other machines I have at the other hotel just so I can show them that we service other hotels and then just like a regular soda and snack machine but yeah there's two motels right next to each other so we're gonna go to both and see if they want machines now you guys might be wondering what exactly do you say to the owner and it's actually very simple all you got to do is go in and ask for the manager or the owner and just be like hey my name is Jaime I work for XYZ vending um, I want to stop by real quick and see if you guys were interested in having a vending machine in your facility and if they do already have machines you don't want to just walk out and leave just because sometimes they could be getting a bad service from their current uh, vending machine service company so always ask them hey are you happy with your current service and if they do have issues then you can come in and put your own machines in the building but yeah I mean should we just go inside yes how are you I got a quick question um, by any chance are you the manager or the owner yeah just for a quick second please he's coming Okay guys, I'm not sure if y'all can see, but this is the perfect place because they do have machines, but they have but they have older machines. They don't even have credit card readers. The machine is very old. So hopefully they want newer machines. Hey, how's it going? I got a quick question for you. 
Uh, my name is Jaime. I work for a local vending company. I know you have machines here, but I just wanted to stop by and see if you wanted uh, different service, maybe newer machines. No, no, we're good. I mean, these these are uh, going on pretty good. And, uh, Do you currently own the machines? Yeah. Or yeah? Yeah. Okay. And you're happy with right, your stuff? Right, yeah. I was gonna show you. I mean, I can show you quick pictures, just no, so you can. I, mean, I don't. I don't. I don't deal with that. The, uh, the lady next door deals with it. You oh, know, she deals with it. Her, yeah. Is that the other motel next door? Yeah. Okay. Might want to talk C- to her yeah, because we have uh, credit card readers on the machine, so it's just like an extra form of payment. Okay. Yeah, but I guess I'll go over there and talk yeah, to. Yeah, her. yeah. Just ask for Manisha. Manisha? Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. Thank All you. Right. Okay, so apparently the lady next door at the other motel is the one that fills up the machines. So he gave me the name of the person. We're going to go next door and see if hopefully she wants some machines. Hopefully she does because those machines were very old. You saw how empty yeah. it was? It was very empty. The product looked all nasty. Apart and from that, it looks super bulky. Yeah, it just looks, it, they look really ugly. And I showed him a picture, but he just, I guess he, he's the owner. But I mean, he said he doesn't deal with it, that mm-hmm. the other person does. So real quick, let's go next door. That's cool. Guys, they have a vending room. Okay, so this one actually has a vending room. They have a soda machine and a snack machine. This is perfect because these machines, I mean, no offense, but they're ugly. (laughs) This one doesn't even have a credit card reader. This one doesn't either. And it just looks really old and beat up. What are you doing? Oh, I was gonna. I was looking for Manisha. Yeah. Is that you? Yeah. Um, I went next door. I, I don't know who I talked to, but I was I was stopping by. I work for a local vending company. I was gonna see if you guys were interested in a different vending service. Oh no, this is our own machine. Oh, it's your own machines. Yeah. I mean, I have a quick picture of this is at a different hotel. I mean, we have credit card readers on the machines. Oh yeah, but over here they, they don't use credit card. They don't use it's all cash. Yeah. Okay. That's why if you buy the machine, it's cheaper. Yeah. Oh, I see. So you, you're happy with the current oh, yeah. machines? Okay. I just want to stop by then. Okay. Thank I you. Know, I saw somebody taking picture. I'm like, who's taking the picture? Oh. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. No, that's fine. Thank you. Well, I mean, there you guys go. We went to two different motels. They both said no. They had really beat up machines, but apparently they're happy with it. So I'm not gonna obviously force them to take their machines out. Um, She said that they don't use credit cards here. It's all just cash, which is fine. But I mean, I just wanted to quickly show you guys how simple it is to find locations. You just go in, ask for the owner. I just want to stop by and see if you guys want a better vending machine service. I mean, you can pretty much say anything you want. It really doesn't matter. Well, that's the thing about finding locations door to door is that it takes up so much time because you have to keep driving and driving and there's only so many locations you can go in one single day. And that's why I do like finding all my locations online through like a website or running ads. So that's why, again, I made the course uh, for everyone that doesn't want to go door to door and spend a whole bunch of time, you know, trying to find a location. So again, if you guys want a full video of just finding locations, drop a like on the video right now and let me know down below in the comment section. But yeah, with that being said, let's go home and let's count the money we collected. All right, everyone. So we just got back home from trying to find a vending machine location. You guys know we couldn't really find one. And I was actually about to count all the money and end the video. Here's all the money we collected today. But I'm not even joking. On the way back home, I got three leads for brand new vending machine locations and it's just crazy the way that you know everything works. We went out, we tried to find a new location, we got a bunch of no's and on the way home we get three leads for new locations. Like look just check this out. So the first one um, her name is Carol. So I was like hi Carol what kind of business is it and what kind of machines were you looking for and she said she wants a snack machine and that she has a hair salon. And then I sent her a picture of the brand new combo machine that I have in the garage. And I was like, we just got this brand new combo machine, snacks on top, drinks on the bottom. It takes cash, credit cards, and Apple Pay. And then she was like, okay. And she sent me her address and that was it. Simple as that, new location, easy as that. But like I said, I got two other ones. So the next one is a, it's a hookah lounge, which I've never thought about actually putting a machine in a hookah lounge. 
And for this one, I'm actually not sure just because he asked me if he can put his own product in the machine. Since it is a hookah lounge, he wants to put tobacco and cigarettes in the machine, which I would need like extra permits and stuff to sell cigarettes. So I don't think I'm gonna be getting this one unless he wants to rent a machine from us and I'll probably charge him like 50 bucks a week. Uh, that way he can put whatever he wants in the machine. So that's the second one. The last one I actually just got right now. Um, he was like, I'm interested, I have a barber shop. And of course I sent him the picture of the combo machine. Combo machines are perfect for, for uh, barber shops. And I said, great, we actually just got a brand new combo machine and I think it'll look perfect in your barber shop. And then I asked him for the address. He hasn't replied, but I mean, that's three vending machine leads in one single day. So whenever you do start a vending business, you don't have to go door to door. You don't have to call businesses. Uh, just because fun fact, out of all the locations I have right now, none of them I got by going door to door. Just because, especially when I first got started, I was really, really shy. I didn't feel like walking up to businesses and talking to owners face to face. So that's why all the locations I get right now is either through my website, running ads, or emailing. And that's why I did make a vending machine course for everyone that wants to start their own vending machine business or anybody else that has trouble finding locations. Um, and I do want to talk about the course real quick, but before I do, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to have questions and they're going to be like, Jaime, why don't you just make the course for free and you know, give all the information out for free instead of charging for the course? That's a good question, but the reason why is because, well, number one, I do help people out every single day for free. I get a lot of DMs and messages on Instagram, Facebook, and on YouTube. A lot of people want to get into the business and I literally spend hours, days, weeks helping people out for free. And then two, three, or four months later, I message them back and I'm like, hey, you know, how's it going? Did you start your business? How many machines do you have now? And a lot of them never get started. So I literally waste a whole bunch of time helping people out that never actually get started. So that's why I did make a course for everyone that's actually dead serious about getting into the vending business. Drop the mic, baby. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, now talking about the course, I'm sure some of you might be asking, uh, what exactly do I talk about in the course? Well, it's pretty much every single bit of information you could possibly need in order to get started. So I, I do talk about everything from creating your website, your logo, your business cards, uniform, how to buy machines, what to check before you buy a used machine, um, how to move machines, how to find locations through running ads, emailing, cold calling. Um, what else do I talk about? That I one's mean, a lot. Storage, uh, commission, how to talk to owners, credit card readers, uh, like I, again, literally every single bit of knowledge I have about vending, I talk about in the course. So everyone that wants to get started, you know, it does save you a lot of time, a lot of troubles that I wish I would have known whenever I first got started. So again, if you do want to check out the course, click the link down below and go get it before the price goes up next year once I add more information and more videos to it. Uh, and also, I do want to mention that once you buy the course, you do get access to it forever. Even whenever I do add more information, more videos, and more updates, you will be getting those for free as well. Now is your chance to finally get into the vending machine business. It doesn't matter if you have kids, if you go to college, high school, if you're under 18, it doesn't matter. Everyone has time to start a vending business. I mean, we have what, like 35 vending machines on location. We can go to every single location in two days and not have to go back for two weeks. So again, it doesn't really take much time. I mean, we collected this much from one location in, how long was it, 10 days? Yes. Uh, like two weeks at the most. So, I mean, it's really not that, it's not that hard. It's really simple. The hardest part is finding locations. And yes, I know a lot of people are scared to start a brand new business because they think it's gonna fail. But the question is, what if you succeed? All right, but anyways, before we do end the video, of course, we are gonna count the money and see how much we collected from the two machines. So here we go, I got all the bills, and then we have all the coins right here. How much do you think it's gonna be? Uh, I don't know, that's a pretty big stack. 
Lower than 450? Yeah. Be before I count the money, I want you guys to go down below and drop a comment how much money you guys think it's gonna be with everything all together. Guys, my girlfriend hates using this machine because apparently it's not accurate. Well, it never wants to work with me. It always gets stuck. It's because you don't know how to use it. That's not true. Alright. Yeah, miss? Oh. What'd I say? Alright, let's start over. Let's start over. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Okay, 119 so far. Like 250, no? Oh, man. 197. How much is that? 217. Okay, so in once it was 215. So now 220, 230, 240, 245 in bills. Now for the annoying part count all the coins. Are you really gonna count all of those? Should I not? And then, you know what? I'm not gonna count it. I mean, it can't be that far off. I'm gonna say this is. I'm gonna say it's like 10 bucks. All right, that looks like 10 no, bucks. 15 bucks. Let's say 15 bucks. Okay. So 245 plus 15, that's 260. So cash, 260. Now let me pull up the credit card sales real quick. The guy with the barbershop just replied back. What do you he say? He said, I have a soda machine. I need a snack machine. Oof. So what? Do you think he owns a soda machine? Mm. If, he already, if he already has a soda machine in there, I'm not gonna just go in and put in a snack machine. I'm either gonna have both or nothing. Tell him, baby. I mean, yeah, it makes no sense. Literally only having a <laughs> snack machine and having a competitor right next to me. So I'm gonna tell him like, yo, can you take that one now and let me put my combo machine in? Okay, so the total for credit card sales was $215 with 25 cents. So the grand total, everything all together, $475 with 25 cents. Damn. From one machine, I, I don't, again, I don't even remember how long it's been, anywhere from 10 to 14 days. But yeah, even if it's two weeks, that's about $1,000 a month. Imagine if you have 30 locations, 50 locations, 100 locations. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If y'all did, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. And this one is for you guys. See you guys in the next video.